Hey students, welcome to our email lesson here. We're going to get right into it. Now, you've probably been waiting a long time to get to use email, or perhaps you've been using email for a long time. So I've kind of got both of you uh, different kind of students in this crowd, but we're going to go over some of the rules and some of the parts of email. So some of the some of you that maybe have been using it for a while, you might not know these things. When other ones, you're gonna be like, wow, this is really cool. I've never known this. So, so anyhow, let's get right into it. Uh, first, let's go over the rules of using email. Okay, you are young students still. You need to have your parents' permission if you email someone outside of your classroom, okay? So you need to do it. So if you want to email Aunt Lucy living in Idaho, you need to get your parents permission for that, okay? Now, as far as email within your school, in your classroom, everything is okay. If you wanna maybe email to someone else in another class or another grade at your same school, you need to get your teacher's permission for that one, okay? So let's say you've been assigned to work with uh, someone in another class, and then your teacher's obviously, since she has assigned you, you would have permission to email with that other student back and forth. So that's rule number one, keep yourself safe, only email people that you've been approved to email. Okay, number two, when it comes to emailing the adults in your life, so your teachers, your parents, your relatives with permission, you have to follow normal email etiquette. Okay, you have to be professional when dealing with adults. Okay, which means you use a proper heading on it, use a proper subject line, you do a properly formatted email like Dear Mrs. Smith, you know, all those things like that. Sincerely, Timmy Jones. Whatever you gotta do, you gotta use a proper email function because you're not just casually emailing with a friend, you are emailing an adult. So you have to keep it very professional. Number three, you must always use a subject line. My email account has it programmed so that if something comes in with a blank subject, it just goes into the trash, okay? So it, it doesn't even ever get to me. And make sure your subject line is appropriate. So if I had a question about, say, an upcoming test in science class, my subject would be science test question, okay? And then in the body of the email, and we're gonna explain what those all those parts are in just a moment, you would then go and you'd explain what the question is, okay? And, and so you've got to always make sure to use an appropriate subject line, okay? So that when your teacher is just scanning their email account or another adult or even your friends or other classmates, they should be able to tell just from all the subject lines what each email is about, okay? Don't put in there mysterious things like hello as the email subject, okay? That doesn't make sense, okay? Just, just put in appropriate things. So the subject should be a summary of everything else that's in the email, okay? Should be just a one-line summary of what the email is about. Okay, and really the last question, is, I mean the last rule about using your email account is you have to, I guess, leave your teachers alone, okay? Your teachers don't want to have funny little cat photos sent to them. They don't want to have jokes sent to them and they don't need you emailing 42 times a day, okay? So just keep it appropriate and always give your teachers at least 24 hours to answer. I've had some students that ask me a question about a badge, like, hey, Mr. Flick, did I get the photography badge? And then 10 minutes later, hey, Mr. Flick, did you get my email? 10 more minutes, hey, Mr. Flick, why are you get, not getting my emails? And another 10 minutes, hey, Mr. Flick, are you ignoring me? I mean, and then all I've been is at lunch, you know, and, and I don't check my email all the time. I actually only check my email first thing in the morning and then last thing in the afternoon before I, I leave my office. So I only check twice a day. So you've got to be respectful of people and their time. So don't send just junk email to people. Okay, now between your friends, you can tell jokes and send cat photos if you have a friend who's into those weird things. But if with your teacher and other adults, don't waste their time. Only send professional emails that have a good subject line and, um, are, are, and you give them at least 24 to 48 hours to answer you before you send a follow-up email. Okay, we got that done, we should be okay. So those that'll kind of cover the rules that we have for using your email account. 